This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. For this episode, we're back in North Carolina with Gary Anderson. This time, he's got some of his team members who are going to demonstrate some double dutch turning skills. For the JV, they're going to be doing a crossover um, turning thing where they're both going to be crossing over and then crossing back with their other arm. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You just kind of got to watch it and figure out uh, what they're doing. They'll kind of break it down uh, where they'll show one person and they'll show you what it looks like with a jumper. For the varsity, we're going to be covering uh, multiple jump throughs. And this is a real fun trick to do. It takes a little bit of practice because you have to kind of figure out the motion that you need to do while you're jumping and they'll kind of explain that and then they'll demonstrate what it looks like with the jumper just jumping in the middle. Once you've got that down you can make it a little bit more difficult where you've got a jumper maybe doing some frogs or turns or round offs or something while you're doing it to add even more difficulty but they'll kind of get you the idea on where to get started and then from there you can take it to wherever you want to go. The JV skill. For the JV skill, we're going to be working on some double dutch. We're going to be doing some cross arm turning, which is um, kind of a turner involvement trick, which has become a little more popular nowadays than just the turner standing still. So for the cross arm turning trick, the first thing that's going to happen is the two turners are going to have to agree on which arm they are going to cross first and which one's going to be on top. In this case, Hunter is going to be crossing his right arm over his left arm, whereas his partner will be crossing left over right. So as they're turning, and don't turn yet, He's going to, they're going to call a ready, set, go. And on, after go, they're going to take their right arm. He's going to cross it over his left arm. They're going to actually do two turns in this position. So you can't be too speedy and try to come right back out. They're going to cross over. Two turns will occur. And then he's going to take his lower arm, which will be his left arm, and drop it out first so that his right arm can drop straight down. They're then immediately, they're going to do one turn, and then they're going to do their other arm. In this case, Hunter's left arm will come over his right, and he's going to do the same exact thing. It's, again, it's going to be two turns, and then he's going to drop his lower arm out first so his other arm can drop straight down. Now, a tendency a lot of people have when they do this when they're first learning is, if Hunter, if you'll cross your arms, is they'll pull their lower arm out first, but then their upper arm, and go ahead and pull out your lower arm, and then their upper arm, they will actually try to reverse the direction. They feel like they must reverse the direction. And the key is to just drop it straight down both times. You drop your one arm straight down and your other arm straight down. So I'm going to have them turn it real quick so you can see it in regular motion. And I'm going to call ready, set, go for them. And then they're going to go ahead and show you the whole thing. Ready, set, go. And you'll notice they stayed smooth. They did not speed up or slow down. They just tried to keep the same pace. So let's show that one more time so they can really watch how your arms drop straight down. Ready, set, go. Just like that. Now we're going to add a jumper to the rope. So I have John here and then Hunter and Lauren turning. And one of the things the jumper is going to test is their ability to make sure the ropes are hitting the ground and that they keep a constant tempo, um, the normal double dutch rhythm. Because when you're first learning this, people have a tendency to have the ropes come off the ground or they start turning almost like pop-ups and the ropes hit not in the normal double dutch rhythm. So we're going to show it real quick again without John and the ropes and then we'll add him. So if you guys will start turning. I'm going to call ready, set, go, and I'm going to call ready on the rope of the arm that's going to come over the top for them, just so they both know exactly when to come over the top. So it's going to look like this. Ready, set, go. Just like that. So now I'll have John come in, and they're going to do the same exact thing, but with the jumper in. And John may have to make adjustments. We'll just see when it comes out. Ready, set, go. One more time if John will back out. Ready, set, go. And a clean exit. And that's the cross arm turning. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be working on multiple jump throughs in double dutch. Similar to a single jump through, um, you're going to try to keep a rope down and end up jumping through it and, and turning while this is happening, except for multiple jumps as you're going to continue. So to start with a regular jump through, normally as my one arm is coming down toward the ground and the other arm is up in the air, I would turn toward the rope, jump off two feet, 
and then continue to turn around. For multiple jumps, I'm actually going to stay facing away from the other turner. So as the rope comes down in my left arm and my right arm is up, I'm going to jump this rope, but instead of continuing to turn, I'm going to stay in this position. From here, I need to take my arm that is up and drop it as close to my body as possible as I move the other arm back up to the top. And I'm going to then jump this rope in place. And then I'm going to reverse and do the same thing again where I push out and bring my other arm close to my body so I can jump again. Probably do about, you can do as many as you want. Uh, we're going to show it with four jump throughs. So just still walking through it, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's going to kind of be like a ready, set, go. I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to jump here, drop low. Jump again, drop low, jump again, drop low, jump again. That's four jumps, and then come right back out. Notice when I come back out, I turn back the way I came from. I ended up turning into the jump through this way. I took four jumps. I can come back out that way. If you take an odd number of jumps, such as three, then you would need to turn the opposite from that. So if I do three jumps, I will just continue in the same direction I was going. I have Hannah here, and she's going to actually show you exactly what it looks like um, when she's jumping through. And we're just going to, for right now, we're going to call her Ready, Set, Go, and then we're going to add a jumper in. And then I won't be able to actually see her, so we'll just have to go when she's ready. So this is Hannah doing multiple jump throughs. And now we will add Lauren in. And it's important here that I just have to kind of feel what Hannah's doing because I'm not going to be able to see when she begins or while she's doing it. I'm not going to be able to necessarily see. So it's important that we have done this skill enough without a jumper so that when we do add one, um, things can go smoothly for us. And if Lauren will come back around right here, you'll notice um, I'm really just feeling what Hannah's doing with ropes. If she's pulling a little, I try to move toward her a little so that the ropes will stay on the ground. Um, and Lauren is doing the same thing. It's probably easier, as you saw Lauren do, to face the person doing the trick instead of facing me so she can make any adjustments she needs to while jumping. So let's show that one more time. And that is multiple jump throughs. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.